Hello there. Today we're going to do something totally different. I'm going to show you guys around on my main character, show you what it's made of, uh, what I've accomplished on it, what I've collected, and so on. Uh, also, what I'm still working on. So, we're just going to explore the character of Ithwin. Um, so, if you're not interested in this, just skip ahead, go to a video where you can see quests or instances and have fun but I'll be giving some hints probably um, be telling what I like about this character what I don't like about this character so you can decide for your own how you want to shape yours um, so this could be interesting well this is going to be interesting um, but if you're low level this probably will be um, a bit vague since you don't know all the things about characters yet. I'm just going to go, go and get started about it. So, this is Guy of course. Um, yeah, I'm Guardsman because I'm free to play and it's very hard to get some more time because I need Mitro coins for it which I can buy with turbine points, which takes a lot of deeds, so that's why I'm only guardsman. Last name I chose, Goldleaf, title is, title is Sage of the Sunken City, and I'm the leader of the kingship called Focus. Then, um, my equipment, I'll go over it real quick. So, I got the gold items from Helm's Deep, the earrings I got both the agility ones and the vitality ones because um, the vitality ones give as much agility as the blue agility ones but they got a bonus vitality of course these are just the greatest and then I got the necklace got this bracelet I also got this thing here uh, which I find very very helpful. I think I got it from a quest or something but as you can see it has some great physical and tactical mitigation on it which you can find nowhere in the Helm's Deep gear so this is a great item if you can find it. I'm pretty sure um, I found it in Central Gondor no actually I'm not. It's either from Central Gondor or West Gondor quest pack then for a ring, I still got this blue scout sword ring. I'm really looking for the gold. I'm running Pilar gears every day, but I haven't been as lucky as other people to get it. So so far, it's still a blue one. This is what I really want to improve. Um, then we got um, the Helm's Deep. Well, I always call it Helm's Deep, but it's just big battle gear. I need to call it big battle gear. Um, the ring. Then I got the file of ground atlas, which you can get at the Roman Threat Squad Master. Takes a bit of time to get it, um, but you, it's not that hard. You just have to find a good group. I put two supreme essences of agility in it, just like in all my other essence gear. Uh, I'm going to be talking about that in a second. Then, yeah, I got the basic essence gear full of supreme agilities. Uh, I got the Greater Dexterous Cloak of Prowess, which is, as far as I know, the best cloak uh, for a hunter. As far as I know, if you know uh, any cloak that's better, please let me know. Then, of course, the rest of the essence gear, all supreme agility essences. For my legendaries, my, on my sword I still need one more crystal. Um, it has already, I think, either it's a sword or the bow that already has another major, I think it's the bow. Uh, yeah, you can check out um, my legacies, my relics and stuff um, I chose for mainly damage relics except for the Westermet Gem of Hope to get my Morial up a bit get my critical defense up a bit 
then you can also see the thing I love the most about my sword is this thing over here plus 5 AOE skills maximum target that's a great great skill if you are a hunter in the red line just like me um, I got the book to reduce the power cost because if you've seen some of my videos I always have power problems and I've got these, the superior tools of the Eastman Armsman. I got the sword because of the um, bonus damage on one handed swords for elves. And my legendary bow right here. Fully upgraded with crystals. Got an extra um, major. Relic, no major uh, legacy on it. So, as you can see, these are legacies. I always pick the agility ones because I'm a great fan of agility. That's about it for the bow, I think. Oh, yeah, for relics, I got, I got the exact same relics as I got on the sword, except for the gem. Uh, I went for damage here. So little bit extra agility. I think I'm gonna change it to the Western Gem of Hope. I'm not sure yet. I got the relics anyway. Okay. Then for my stats, uh, I got Morale, which is okay to me since I care more for the mitigations than for the Morale. Power is a bit low. Yes. Uh, trying to get that fade up but I just can't find the right tome for it then I got uh, 10,000 armor which is something you can't really do much about since I've got the essence gear thing my vitality is okay if you ask me um, I got a bit of might because of my tomes I got all tomes for might uh, which you will see in my passive skills soon um, I thought it doesn't do much and hunters really don't need it but if you really want to get your account to the maximum why not use stones on it. So that's what I did to get a bit extra block and parry rating. Then agility is uh, way too high many people say and I agree until a certain point um, because of this high agility of course I've got the physical mastery but if you go fully for physical mastery essences on your armor you are going to get great physical mastery but not enough critical ratings so I think the best thing uh, to do would be to get um, all your essence gear on agility except for one or two items and put them fully on physical mastery but I'm just a big fan of agility I just like to get it as high as possible well yeah because I just I just like this is the one stat that I've that's that's my goal to get this one as high as possible and that's why I'm only going for agility um, also it gives me a great critical rating um, I get critical hits like yeah, all the time. Um, even though there is all caps on this critical rating, except for the critical magnitude, which keeps going up uh, slower and slower and slower, and slower, but it keeps going up. It's at 37.1 percent at the moment. Also, my agility gives me a crazy block. A crazy parry and evade rating. Um, as you can see, it's at 29.2%, and my evade rating is at 22.4. So that means um, if you combine these, I'd say about one third of all attacks are either parried or evaded, which is pretty damn good. <laughs> Okay, then we got the vitality, which of course 
contributes to Mariel resistance Reagan and no combat Mariel Reagan, which is pretty logical, not much to say about that. Then the reason I got Will of Fate up is also because of Tomes, which I will show you um, when I get to my passive skills. Um, this is mainly to get my tactical mitigation up, because they both contribute a bit to tactical mitigation, which is very important if you are going to run tier 2 runs. That's also why I'm working on my traits um, to get that tactical mitigation up. So we talked about critical rating. Uh, my finesse Finesse uh, reduces your opponent's block, parry, and evade chance, also resistance. Um, I have been working... No, I haven't. Uh, it's just not that important to me. I should maybe get one or two Finesse uh, essences, but I'm, not, I'm just not going for, for Finesse. Uh, that's choice I make. I, I'd rather have big critical hits once in a while than smaller hits all the time. Okay, uh, then physical mastery uh, speaks for itself. Damage increased by 181%. Tactical mastery, yeah, hunters don't really need that, so I'm just going to skip over to that. Uh, resistance is okay, I'd say. Critical defense is very low, and I am aware of that. But yeah, it, it just is. Uh, I'm one of the old school glass cannons. Um, uh, incoming heal, 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 sorry, incoming healing at zero. Pair rating, evade rating, we went over that. Mitigations then. I've been working on those, especially with my traits. Physical mitigation is almost at the cap. And tactical mitigation still needs some work. Um, since it's only at just below 40%. Um, so that still needs some, some work done. Uh, I'll be going to the traits now. So I trade red mainly. Especially because of the, I think it's this one, 10% ranged damage, which is for me, well, that convinces me immediately. Um, also, the red line has minus 10% mitigation bypass, which is pretty damn good. And we also got burn hot, which I tend to use a lot um, when I want to get the bosses in Pelargia, for example or in hard fights. Also reduces the power costs. Then Hail of Arrows. This combined with this and this gives incredible AoE non-stop damage. Uh, because I also got the um, Strong Draw and uh, the Target penetrating shot mitigation, which reduces uh, the target's mitigation for my penetrating shot. So I'm basically just all about focus, as you can see. Also, I got the press onward skill, which I find personally uh, very useful. And here I also got the plus five percent range damage. Uh, we went over this, we got 20% damage for skills that consumes focus, as are the Brain of Arrows and Penetrating Shot. Also got 6 point to increase those mitigations that we talked about earlier. Then we go to Race Trade, I got the Elf Bow Damage um, bonus. This incredible Elder's Grace Bearing Rating. Very useful if you want to win a spar, for example. I've got the plus 20 fate since I'm, since I'm low on power and I just find the other skills a bit useful, uh, useless, sorry. 
that detects a convention bonus for the fellowship and the elf one handed sword damage. Here, uh, I've traded armor, uh, especially for the tactical mitigation, which I talked about earlier. Uh, trying to get uh, this one is very good, uh, rank 19. Determination can still go a bit up, but I'm content about that. It said uh, 153 agility bonus, that's what it's all about. Fidelity again, um, mostly for the tactical mitigation, also increases my vitality. Then we've got tolerance, um, which is the two things I care most about at this moment tactical mitigation and agility. Same thing for mercy. So that's it for the traits. I'll go to the skills, of course, we're not going to go over all the active skills, just going to show that I collected uh, a lot of traveling skills. Also the return skill that I bartered, because um, I'm a collector, a lot of people will know that I am a collector. Uh, we'll go to the passive skills. These are the um, attribute enchantments. I'm at rank 12 for everything except for fate. So if you play on Windfall and you get a Tome of Fate rank 7, I'll be willing to pay very, very well for that one. Since I really needed to get up my fate, I got almost all the other ones except for 9. So if you got any of those, send me a message, would be very useful. Of course, these are elf skills, crafting things. Discounts of everywhere. Um, I'll show you my houses soon. Uh, apparently, I can use loot. Uh, I thought that was only for minstrels, but okay. Got the gates of Condoom and the Great Barrow Key. Then got some emotes. Just going to scroll over that. Slow. This is my favorite fire breath. Uh, I'm collecting them as well, but I'm not nearly as far as I want to be. Then we got these things. I don't know what they're all about exactly. Some button things, and that's it. Fellowship, I'm not really sure, I never looked at these things, it's just fellowship skills that everyone uses. Mounts, um, I got a lot of mounts, I collected those, I never bought anything from the store. Um, if there are some exclusive steeds in between these, it means I got them out of loot boxes, these, these three. Okay. So that's it for the skills. I'm going to go over the titles real quick. Just yeah, it's like a lot of level hundreds. Just got a massive amount of titles. Uh, also from events. I'm not going to go over that in detail. Uh, wrote myself a little biography. If you want to read it, just pause the screen here. Then the wallet. I'll show you guys real quick. Um, it's um, I think I'm financially good. We'll go to the house in a second. I got the kingship house and normal house. Hobby is fishing, of course, not um, fully completed yet. Reputations. Um, just going to show you the things I'm not kind of with, which is the elf gang. Something I'm really proud of is that I'm uh, kind of at the ill association and that I am almost kind of at the in league, so I can switch in between the two depending on what I need. Okay, so I still need those Caladrim and Maladrim since I don't have the Mirkwood quest pack. Riders of Stangard. This is Rohan, uh, which I'm fully at. Chicken Chasing League, um, still need to get that up a lot, but in Windfall, 
There isn't much shenanigans action. Then no Amroth. And the rest of Gondor. So that's it for Reputation, the War, Rank 3, I know. Um, like I said, free to play, hard to get where I want. Uh, then my fault if it should interest you. I don't have shared, shared storage, so I've been collecting these because they can be used on any legendary item, not just on level 100. So I'm going to keep these for uh, a time where crystals get extremely rare. Um, so that can be after two or three level caps. Just going to keep these same for this crystal of remembrance. See anything interesting? I've been holding these tomes for my girlfriend's lore master. Um, not really wasting space here. Some things. Then some tomes. As I said, um, the fate tomes. I still need. Eight as well, I just noticed. Some Morse item I keep for when I finally am able to get back there. And some tokens. My inventory if it really interests you and then we'll go check the house out. Um, first I'm going to show you my collection. So this is my collection of pets. Fowl, I really need to get working on those chickens uh, because I'm bad at Afghanigans, as I told you before. Friendly frogs, I got the pond, the pond frog, and I'm still going. Well, these aren't out yet, but I really want this marsh frog. It's a drop uh, of the of the misty marshes warband. Um, and I've been doing it every day but haven't been lucky so far. I got the Grim Friends from the winter event. Got one Huon of Fangor working on that. Almost got two. And then Shrewd Companions. To be honest, I just bought them of the auction hall. I got both Swans of West Gondor. And the next treasure seeking event I'll be going for the cave claws. Then the mounts, I showed you my mounts before. So I'm not really going to go over this. Um, anything else? Oh yeah, my house. It's close to the kingship house, so I just use the same skill for both. So this is a kinship house, not really going to show you guys everything. For my house, I think I still got the hello yeah, I still got the Halloween thingy going on with the Yuan decorations. Some scary trees over here. Um it was Halloween and I thought let's go crazy, but I'm just too lazy to bring them down. Go inside my house, got some especially a lot of things from Moria and a lot of maps. I'm a map collector because it gives me turbine points every time I start new accounts, I just switch them over. And I got myself a Rohan bed and I think quite cozy. Room. So that was it. I can still show you guys the deeds I've done. Uh, I'm not going to go into the critic class race epic skirmish instances. Maybe um, I've completed all the Moria deeds. Uh, done a lot of Angmar as well um, in their absence. Well, I can't really say I'm far with that. And Rise of Isengard, I've done. Uh, all deeds except for the Foundry and Tower of Orthanc. In Eriador, I've done all deeds in Breland, the Shire, Eric Lewin, Lowlands, North Downs, uh, Trollshouse, not 
I haven't done any of those because I don't have the quest pack. Misty Mountains. Oh, oh! I didn't know I I have still had these. Oh yeah, those are new. So I still need to do this. Uh, Evelyn complete everything. Editing Ethermores, of course not. Uh, don't have any more quest pack. Don't have four shell. I've completed everything in a region as well. I've completed everything in a wave and Dunland for Ravanium. Haven't completed Mount Lorien, don't have it. Completed Moria. Uh, Lower Deeps. Really know. Yeah, apparently I completed those. Then the Central Halls. I think I've. Yeah, I've just done all Moria things, so we're not gonna go to that. I haven't got Merkwood or Great River. Eastern Rohan completed everything, even the hit ball things, which took a very long time. Uh, I don't have Rule of Moor. Western Rohan completed everything as well. Gondor, yes, completed. The same thing for Central Gondor. Uh, one thing I can still show you is the big battle overview. Which is all platinums except for this one, so two debris and these two, which I still need to get platinum. So that was it for the character look around. Did I forget anything? Let's see. Crafting, yeah. Um, I'm a gilded woodworker, uh, forester maxed out, but farmer nothing. Uh, so I guess that's all you need to know. Yep, that's it. Okay, uh, thanks a lot for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Maybe you learned something from the stats about what you focus on and what you don't have to focus on. Uh, what I like. If you got any questions about any steeds or skills or where to get them, go ahead and ask him. And that's it for this character tour, let's call it. Uh, thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.